Today I'm going to show you how to make this adorable banana. It looks like it's been peeled, it's curved, and it even has a brown tip. So grab your four millimeter crochet hook and let's get started. So we're going to begin with this brown tip. So to start, make a magic ring. So make the X, grab the back piece, and chain one. Your magic ring is done, and now you're going to do four single crochets inside the ring. For round two, you're going to do four single crochets, so one in each stitch. always a bit hard to go into the first one. There we go. So one in each stitch you'll end up with four single crochets. For round three you're going to go in into your first stitch and then grab your yellow. then pull under and do a single crochet and you're going to do two single crochets in each of the stitches so increase all the way around and you're going to end up with a total of eight stitches Oops. now before you continue on the next round we might as well cut this brown just so we can move it to the side. And now you'll want to tie together using a knot, um, the yellow where we started and the brown where we ended. So you can just tie those together just so it stays secure. And this is inside your banana, so it doesn't matter that you're doing a knot. Okay, so now that that's done, we can move on to our next round. So you're going to increase in the first stitch. Now remember to put in your stitch marker. So two single crochets in your first stitch and then in the next stitch you're just going to do one single crochet. Okay, then you're going to increase then do a single crochet, and by repeating this pattern, you'll end up with 12 single crochets. Begin round five by increasing. Followed by two single crochets. By the end of this round, you will end up with 16 single crochets. For your next round, just do one single crochet in each stitch. By the end of your sixth round, you will end up with, once again, 16 single crochets. For round seven, you're going to increase. and then do three single crochets in the next three stitches. This will leave you with a total of 20 single crochets. For the next two rounds, you're just going to do a single crochet in each stitch all the way around. So of course you're going to end up with 20 single crochets. Begin your next round by decreasing. So you're going to grab half the V of two stitches and then pull through the three loops on your hook. That's a decrease. So decrease, then you're going to do eight single crochets.
Now you're going to increase, so do two single crochets in the next stitch, and then to get back to your beginning, you're just going to do nine single crochets. For the next round, you're going to do a single crochet in each stitch all the way around for a total of 20 stitches. And this is a pattern that we're going to repeat two more times. We've already done it once. Um, so we're going to, the next round, you're just going to repeat the decrease eight single crochet, increase nine single crochet, and then the following round, you're going to do a single crochet all the way around. And then you're gonna repeat that a third time. So feel free to rewind the video to re-follow the pattern. So now that your banana is curved, you can see it's sort of pointed like this. So when we stuff it, it's gonna look curved. But now that that section is done, the next three rounds, you're just going to do a single crochet in each stitch. So you'll end up with 20 single crochets. You're going to end your round by doing a slip stitch. And then you want to cut a nice long tail. There we go. So to make the white part of your banana here, you're actually going to repeat the exact same pattern, but cut out round two. So you're just going to skip round two, otherwise you'd end up with a little knob at the top of your banana, which of course you don't want. So repeat it, but cut out round two, and then we'll be ready to stuff it. So grab your stuffing, put it in little pieces, just, and stuff your little banana. You don't want to stuff it too, too much, but you also want to stuff it enough. Okay, and this is what it'll sort of look like. Like this. So you're going to line up those two things, and that's how we're going to sew it together. Now, before we sew these two pieces together, we're just going to sew in this white tail, because we're going to sew it together with the yellow, so we don't really need this white one. So I'm just putting it through a V here, and then I'm going to put it in some of the stitching in here. So I'm just going to stick it in through a couple stitches. There we go, that's good. So now I'm going to stitch these two pieces together, and you want them to line up. So you want, I'm just going to go through this V here one of each, like so, okay. And now I'm going to go back into my yellow, grab my next V and my white V. Okay, yellow, you don't wanna grab the stuffing though. And then white. yellow, and then white, and just continue this all the way around. And before you actually close the hole completely and completely stuff them, make sure you've added, enough, added in enough stuffing to your liking. So I've just finished sewing my banana together and I just poked my yarn out here and I'm going to poke it out to another spot, maybe over here just so that I can cut it and it won't come apart. There we go. Next, it's time to move on to my peel. So to start, what I'm gonna do, this is a challenging part. I'm going to go into my banana here. And notice, instead of putting my hook forwards, I'm actually flipping it backwards. 
because I don't want to pick up the stuffing when I'm going in. I'm going to start with a slip stitch. Like so, just like this actually, so that you have a, a loop, okay? And this can just hang down there. Now you're going to do 14, or now you're going to do two single crochets. So, um, oh, and you can go in like this again. So like this, so I'm gonna start. So one single crochet, two single crochet, and now I'm going to chain 14. Okay, so this is the peel part. Next, I'm going to do 13 single crochets down this uh, chain, so. Once I'm done that, I'm going to, down here, notice the next post there. I'm gonna go under that, and that would be my first, do a single crochet there, there, and there. So three single crochets. And then I'm gonna repeat this same pattern. Two single crochet, chain 14, single crochet 13 back down, three single crochet. Repeat it, and you'll end up with four little string things. So I've just finished my first repetition of my pattern, and now I'm going to repeat it. So I'm back to where I started. As you can see, I have four of these spirally things. And next I'm gonna work back into the bottom of this spiral. So I'm gonna start with 11 double crochets. So I'm gonna go in, this is where I'm going. So here, so 11 double crochets. So wrap around, pull through two, wrap around, pull through two. There's my first double crochet. Now I'm gonna go to my second one. Okay. Next, you can see I've gone and done the 11. I'm going to do a half double crochet. So wrap around and pull through all three loops. Now I'm going to do a single crochet. And now you can see I'm right to the tip of my peel. And you can see there's like a little loop there. So I'm gonna go through that. In the tip, I'm gonna do two single crochets just to curve it over. And now I'm gonna repeat how I got up here all the way down. So I'm gonna do one single crochet, then a half double crochet, and then 11 double crochets. So as you can see, my first peel is done. Now what I'm going to do is notice how there's one, two, three, four, five single crochets in between. So in the third single crochet, so one, two, three, I'm going to go into it here. I'm going to do a single crochet. And now I'm ready to continue what I just did, the exact same thing into my next peel. So I'm gonna start with the 11 double crochets, then a half double crochet followed by a single crochet, two single crochets, and then repeat it on the way down. So repeat this for the rest, so you, till you're done all four peels. So you're going to end by, instead of doing a single crochet in your third um, stitch, you're just going to do a slip stitch. And now I'm ready to cut my yarn. Make sure to cut a long tail, like so. And as you can see, your banana does not look very nice. The peel is hanging down. So we are going to stitch that up so that it looks more realistic right after we sew in this tail where we started. Just put your needle and poke it through anywhere. Poke it 
down. And maybe out again. Like so. And then cut your yarn. There we go. The next step is to pin up each of these corners. Okay? So begin by putting your hook through your, or putting your needle through your V, putting it into a stitch of the white. There we go. And then I'm just going to go in up through this V here. And then I'm going to go back out into the white and instead of poking out, I'm going to poke out over here. So let's see where I want it to go. Maybe right, you just want to sort of line it up to poke through there. That looks about right. And as you can see, I'm just pulling it through. Okay, so this side is now stitched up and it doesn't fall down like it does here. It's stitched up there. And now that we're here, we just want to go into down here, just out into the white part again of your banana. You can see that's my yellow string there. Um, and then you're going to pop it out over here your next corner. See? And now that side is stitched in like we want it. And as you can see, now these edges are held up so they no longer look floppy and it looks like my sample banana. So now you just to secure your yarn, you're just going to put your hook out into a couple times out into your banana, just in random spots. Maybe out there, and that's enough. So now I'm just going to cut my yarn. There we go. Your banana is complete. I hope you liked my pattern and were able to make one of these slanted peeled bananas for yourself. Stay tuned for my next video.